no surprises or anything like that in which if Treyarch were to extend the beta another day here going until Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're in our last 24 hours or so of the beta, and depending on when you watch this, it could be even less. But that said, there's still plenty of time to grind out Black Ops 4's beta, and of course going into Weekend 2 for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, there's a lot to take a look at that I want to prep you guys for, and again, if you have the opportunity now, I want you guys to check this out because I can guarantee you what we're going to talk about today, you will do incredibly well with if you end up using these. So today we're going to be taking a look at three different classes within Black Ops 4's beta that right now, honestly, to me, are some of the ones that will absolutely shred. Two of these I think that I've used exclusively for all of today, and then one we ended up playing around a little bit whenever I was out in California. I think you might have even seen some of it on the live stream that we did out there, but regardless, we're gonna be taking a look at three class setups here at this one, two SMGs and one rifle, and like I said, if you follow these, I think that you will absolutely shred no matter what within Black Ops 4. So that said, let's just jump right into it. So the first one we'll start out with here is the GKS. Now this one isn't going to require you to rank up near as much as the other ones, so in that sense I want to start it here because it's more of a beginner class setup if you will in that sense where you don't have to grind out each weapon level you don't really have to grind out all that high into the actual ranks itself in multiplayer but it's something you can take advantage of and is definitely fantastic so in that sense we're gonna be taking a look at the GKS as sort of a starter to what we'll talk about here in just a second but the GKS I end up running on this one grip quick draw and long barrel now for this grip is something that of course helps you out with that recoil the GKS is relatively stable at as is without needing the grip, but it is something that if you end up challenging at range, which is something that if you do have an SMG, is actually a viable option as of right now. As it stands, the SMGs are still pretty meta. We haven't seen all that many SMG nerfs just yet. There have been some tuning to some weapons, which actually one of which we'll talk about here today in this video has been affected by it already. But if you're trying to range somebody a little bit further than that of the standard close quarters SMG combat range, the grip will definitely help you out in that sense. So in my books, definitely run it here at this one. Quick draw is the next thing up on the list here that we run with this one, and that's simply because I want to have my weapon up as fast as possible. As it stands right now, hip firing isn't the most accurate thing in this game, and it really seems like it's a little less advantageous than even just going from hip fire to ADS without even firing a bullet until you're ADS. For whatever reason, it just doesn't seem as effective here in Black Ops 4 as compared to other titles. Whether that changes or not, or if it's all placebo, who knows, but quick draw is going to allow you to get that weapon up as soon as possible. And in a gunfight where you need to put more bullets than ever in Call of Duty history into your enemy, it's definitely crucial to have those first shots. Then finally on this, we'll also have Long Barrel to increase that damage range drop off, to which that's something that, again, SMGs, being the meta right now, they can challenge a little bit longer of gunfights compared to what we normally see with rifles. So having the ability to have that damage drop off extended, or if you even want to toss on a Long Barrel 2 and substitute out one of the other two attachments here, that one if you rank up far enough as is, that'll actually keep the damage at its peak at any point. So that's also insane, and that's something you can run as well. But that's the attachment on the weapon itself. As for the secondary, I don't run one. I usually just stick to that primary weapon, and if I end up finding something on the ground, I can actually substitute that out, of course, which if I need to go into a secondary, which I think in the one gameplay you'll see, we actually switch over to the Cordite, but regardless, on top of that, we end up running the gear of the stim shot. Then after that, we end up running three perks, but one with a greed of lightweight and then gung-ho as well as ghost. So that's something that lightweight will allow you to, of course, traverse the map a little bit quicker, be a little bit more nimble on your feet. Gung-ho will allow you to reload while you're running and all sorts of things that go along with that one. And ghost will allow you to stay off the radar a little bit further. So as for what we've already detailed in this class setup, of course, we're going to close it out with the wild cards of primary gunfighter to have that long barrel. And then also perk two greed to have two of the same tier perks within that tier two slot. So that said, that's going to conclude the GKS class setup, but moving along a little bit further, this is where we're now going to start to get into the points where these weapons absolutely destroy, but they do take a little bit of time to not only get to, but also to unlock what we end up having on this. So that said, we're going to be taking a look at, firstly, the Spitfire here as the second SMG class setup we'll be talking about here at this one, and this thing shreds. If you remember the Vesper from Black Ops 3, think about that, but on steroids. This is the class setup we're going to be running here at this one that I honestly believe you'll absolutely tear anything apart that's in your way. So let's start out by saying that we use three attachments that are relatively standard to the weapon. We have the Tritium Sight, Fast Mags, and Extended Mags. Now the Tritium Sight is essentially the ELO from Black Ops 3. It is a red dot, but doesn't have the obstruction of the standard iron around the red dot sight that we normally would see with a reflex or a red dot. That's something that I guess 
can be optional if you want to run a perk one as well. I don't in this class setup. So if you want to swap that out for a perk one, that's totally fine as well. But on top of that, the attachments that we end up running are fast mags as well as extended mags. Now, fast mags, of course, SMG play. I always want to be quick and get around the map very fast. So reloads to me are just one of those things that really stand out. So the faster the reload, the more in the action I can be. Fast mags will allow me to do that. Extended mags is something that if you take a look at the Spitfire naturally, the fire rate is the fastest in the SMG category as of right now, as is, if I'm not mistaken. So extended mags is something that will give you not only a little bit of extra ammunition as you continue to go along, but also it doesn't require you to end up reloading as fast as if you would not having the extended mags on. So in that sense, I end up running it for the ability to swap out ammo fast and also have enough ammo to last. But on top of that, what we end up running is the operator mod of Wildfire. Now we start to break into now a little bit more of where it takes to rank up because in order to get an operator mod, you need to rank up your weapon to the max level possible. And that said, for the Spitfire, that is level 13. So you have to go through, rank it up 13 times, and then you'll have the operator mod available, to which you have to take a wild card of the primary operator mod to even be able to equip it. Once you have that, the fire rate is insane. It's pretty much doubled, and so like I said, it's the Vesper, but on steroids. You'll absolutely shred through anybody that comes in your way. Close quarters gunfights, they don't stand a single chance. So if you can end up patrolling an area and knowing where they are and being able to predict and pre-fire, then in my books, I don't think you're going to lose a single gunfight. On top of that, outside of the Spitfire, we end up running the Stim Shot because, of course, being able to regen your health faster and more frequently is, of course, definitely needed within this game. And as for the perks, we end up running Scavenger so I can keep going with the Spitfire because I plan on staying alive for a lot whenever I'm patrolling close quarters areas with this. And then also Tracker because if I'm trying to play that hunting game, it's best to know where your prey are. So in that sense, personally, I wouldn't pick any other two perks with that, but if you guys want to swap something out, feel free to. But that is something that I think this is probably the best SMG class in the game as of right now. But while we're talking about the best SMGs, why not talk about the best rifle class? This is going to come down to the tactical rifle of the ABR-223. This, even without the coup de gras and the icing on top of this one, is still a fantastic class setup if you want to run it as such. But the way that we run it here in this class setup, I can almost guarantee guarantee you, you will shred through any enemy that comes your way. So that said, we end up running the ABR-223 with the natural attachments of the Tritium Sight, the stock, as well as extended mags. If you can deal with pretty much an ACOG scope built in, you don't really need the Tritium Sight, but I do think it's a little more advantageous to have the Tritium Sight, even though you already have a sort of differing iron sight in a sense than that of what other rifles would have. So if you can deal with the ACOG, you don't necessarily need the optic of the Tritium Sight, and you can sacrifice once again that for, say, a perk one or a secondary, but if it were up to me, I'd definitely suggest the Tritium Sight over the standard sight that comes with the weapon. On top of that, we end up running stock, which of course will allow you to ADS and move a little bit faster, to which that is fantastic with this class setup because the quicker your gun is up and the more you're able to snap to an enemy or be pre-aiming an enemy, you'll be able to get that burst off a lot faster initially. And if you can hit your shots as a two burst anywhere on the body. Then after that, we end up having extended mags because I'm not necessarily the biggest person that likes to reload all the time when it comes to bursts because you do burn through ammo a lot faster than you may actually anticipate, but the extended mags greatly helps here on the ABR. But again, coming back to that coup de grace, that icing on the cake, this is the Burst Accelerator Operator mod. This is something that again requires you to have that weapon ranked up all the way to max and also take a wild card of a primary operator mod, but this is one that is absolutely insane. The ABR naturally is a burst weapon, and it's something that isn't quite to the M8 level where it's almost an immediate burst of delay that you can go right into burst after burst. There is a noticeable delay between each of them, but with the burst accelerator, throw what you know about the standard burst in Black Ops 4 out the window, because it doesn't matter. Whenever you take a look at the burst accelerator, if you hold down the trigger rather than tapping it, you end up firstly having your standard burst like you would normally. The second burst comes in a little quicker than that of what would normally happen if you go to shoot your second burst, and the third a little bit quicker after that, to which it's almost non-existent in an interval between shots, and then after that, it's full auto. So if you end up holding down the trigger, of course it starts out naturally like it would the regular ABR, but after that, if you end up coming into contact with a large number of players or somebody that you end up needing to take a little bit more shots after, it's just going to end up turning into an automatic ABR. To which, if this weapon did seem familiar to you, 
well then you turn it into the full-blown AUG from previous titles. And I think you'll see the gameplay speaks for itself. This with the burst accelerator is absolutely ridiculous. It is so good. So if there's one key integral portion of this class setup, it's definitely the burst accelerator. Now outside of just the attachments, again, we run stim shot as well as the perks of scavenger so we can end up keeping our ammo flowing and we don't have to run out or swap weapons to something different because like I said, this thing, you don't want to get rid of it. And the third perk of Ghost, so that we can stay off the radar and be a little more hidden, though we don't necessarily have a suppressor to keep us off entirely, it does help out in moving around and trying to get a position on the enemy. And of course, the wild card, obviously we need to run the operator mod for that, so that'll take up a slot as well. But that's the class setup here that I think is not only the best rifle class in the game, but possibly even the best class in the game overall. So that said, that's the three best class setups here I think that I want to share with you guys that definitely will help you shred through any enemy you have in Black Ops 4. And so, as such, as always with these class setups, I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Is there anything in particular you'd like to suggest for a class setup? Anything that you would alter to any of these? Or do you just absolutely love or hate them? Whatever it may be, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, also let me know how you do if you end up trying this one out down there in the comments and over on Twitter. Share that with me. I'd love to get connected with you guys a little further on that front also. But that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding Call of Duty Black Ops 4 content, best class setups, tips, tricks, news, information, all that good stuff. We got you covered here up on the channel. So if any of that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. Closing out weekend one of the beta here in the next day or two. And then also we'll have a lot of stuff still coming throughout the weekend also into weekend two of the beta for Xbox One, PC, as well as PS4 again. So if any of that interests you, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. And of course, if you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected outside of YouTube, practically live on Twitter. If you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. And also, if you guys want to follow me over on Instagram, get a little more active over there. So that link is down there for you guys to check out if you guys so choose to do so as well. But that said, thank you guys all so much for coming out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Mine is Espresso. Take care and peace.